Life is full of moments when we have to face our fears and take a leap into the unknown. But if you're a professional cliff diver, that's an everyday occurrence. Off the coast of Italy, Seth Doan introduces us to some daredevils who really know how to make a splash. To the thrill of crowds, they plunge from up to nine stories in less than three seconds, reaching 65 miles per hour. The video needs to be slowed to appreciate the flips and turns. And with keen attention to the performance nature of this, the divers even practice jumping from apartment balconies. This is crazy what you guys do. <laughs> yeah, for sure. 25-year-old Molly Carlson is among these professional divers, or maybe daredevils. It's the biggest mental game I've ever played in my life. Who've come to compete in the coastal town of Polignano Amare in Italy's Puglia region. It's a place where limestone cliffs have been tempting amateur divers for generations. Welcome to southern Italy in the third stop of the 2000. And where each summer Red Bull takes this quaint pastime up a notch, way up. 68 feet for women and 90 feet for men over the surface of the sea. Divers have to land feet first to absorb impact. The more flips you do, like you're really feeling the G-forces, and then when you hit the water, you typically go four or five meters deep. It's a picturesque stop on a six-country circuit to crown the world's best cliff diver. Jumping from a bridge in Bosnia or a platform in front of the Eiffel Tower. Molly Carlson, who's Canadian, is among 10 women facing off in Puglia. On the men's side, her boyfriend, Aidan Heslop, from the United Kingdom, is one of 12 in this two-day competition. So we're going up how high? To the top. <laughs> On practice day, he took us up, past the women's platform, three stories higher to the men's. Not a big fan of heights. They suggested wearing a harness, and we were happy to oblige. We just focus on our dive and stay chill up here. This is like second nature for us now, you know? That's crazy. It is not second nature for me. My <laughs> legs are actually wobbling. But thanks for bringing me up here. Of course. Want to go down? <laughs> Heslop nailed his practice dives, but was struggling on day one of the competition, as was Molly Carlson. I've had a lot of anxiety going into this competition. I don't know why. But she's used to pressure. While cliff diving itself is not yet an Olympic sport, for years Molly Carlson's only goal was to make it to the Olympics on the Canadian diving team. As soon as I didn't make that Olympic team, it was like everything came to light. I was like, oh my gosh, I've been suffering for a year and no one knows about it. Under crushing stress at the time she developed an eating disorder. I was 16 years old, I was taller than everyone else in my field. The smaller you are, the easier you can flip and the faster you are. So I thought, okay, if I get smaller in a, in a skinnier way, maybe I can achieve the same dives that they're doing. By not eating. By not eating, exactly. She just missed qualifying, but says that devastating result ended up being a turning point. I told my family, and as soon as I opened up about it, it was like, I want to get the help. When she occasionally still suffers, she's cheered on by her roughly 4 million TikTok followers, where she has a hashtag Brave Gang, encouraging others to share their brave stories. Today she trains at home in Montreal, where she couples ballet, working balance, alignment and rhythm. All right, only high divers can come up here. With time on the very high platform. I walk super fast in this part. The last ladder before 20 meters. Whew. She took our camera up to show us her perspective. This is 10 meter platform. That is the Olympic height. And we are double that. Isn't that wild? Full tour, the ladder you just came up and the 20 meter platform. This is one of just three permanent platforms of this height anywhere in the world. One is in China, 
the other is in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where we met Ellie Smart, who at 28 is one of the most senior divers. Get it going faster. And yeah. is also a coach. To watch someone else overcome their fears and do things they never thought they'd be able to do, like that gives me so much joy and sometimes more than doing it myself. The platform is so high that athletes can get injured from the impact of the water if they dive from it more than a few times a week. There's not very many training facilities in the world. So a lot of what we do in our off-season training is we break our dives up into two parts. And then you come to these locations and you actually just hope that you've trained both parts well enough that they'll go together pretty seamlessly. So we'll just do some front jumps, get used to feeling the wave. Back in Italy, we watched Smart training her 16-year-old diver, Maya Kelly. You don't step on that platform unless you are 99.9% .9 sure you can do what you're about to do. There is danger. People get hurt. Yeah. I really look at football and, and some of those other sports that are really high contact sports. They have a lot of risks as well. Those risks became all too real during Kelly's first ever practice dive outside a pool from this height. That big splash was not good. She'd over rotated onto her back. Ultimately, she was okay, but was taken out of this competition. It's like going through a car crash a thousand times. You know, it sounds You're, awful. It, it, it definitely it really is. sounds like a <laughs> terrible thing. But absolutely worth it every single time. But I think. why? How? In the moment, you feel nothing but pure bliss, and that's the scary part. Your natural instincts are like, don't jump, this is crazy. But in the air, it's like, Finally, this moment of silence. I have anxiety, I live with it every single day, but the second I jump off that platform, my mind is so calm. It's a sort of odd tranquility while being cheered on and judged, but on the final day of this competition, Carlson pulled ahead, placing second. Her boyfriend, Aiden Heslop, landed first. Giving it all he's got. It's exciting and I think we love every second of it. Being there for the lows as well as the highs makes the highs even more special. So I'm really proud of you. <laughs> for those who find climbing to these heights, never mind jumping from them, an unimaginable challenge, well, it might surprise you, sometimes Ellie Smart does too. It's one of those things you walk up there and still now, seven years in, I'm like, Am I going to be okay? But like, you still do it? But I still do it because the feeling that you get when you hit the water, it's like the most empowering feeling I could ever have. I just did this thing that I genuinely thought I couldn't do. And because of that, I, I know that I can unlock even more of, you know, my own human potential.